So now that you have this general view about the connective tissue, we can start going over the different types of connective tissue. And the first one I would like to talk about is the loose, also called areolar connective tissue. The loose connective tissue has the three cells I mentioned before and some other cells, but these are the cells I would like you to keep in mind. We have in the loose connective tissue fibroblasts. And the fibroblasts are the cells that produce the ground substance. And also, in the case of the loose connective tissue, fibroblasts produce collagen fibers, elastic fibers, and the reticular fibers. The loose connective tissue is called loose because in between the cells and also between the fibers, we have lots of ground substance. So this ground substance occupies lots of space, making the fibers and the cells loose further apart. Now, besides fibroblasts, in the loose connective tissue, we find macrophages, which are the big eaters. Macrophages are the cells that will engulf pathogens that are invading that tissue, for example. And lastly, we have the cells that get upset very easily, the cells that are key players in the inflammatory response, the famous mast cells. Now, the loose connective tissue or areolar connective tissue is the most abundant connective tissue of our body. It is found everywhere. It is found in the skin. It's found around blood vessels. It is found around nerves. You name it. It's found basically in or around almost every structure of the body. And because it is found basically everywhere, the loose or areolar connective tissue is also referred as the packing material of the body. Now, when we look at the function of the loose connective tissue, since it is found everywhere, the first thing that comes to mind is that it supports other tissues, right? So one of the functions of the loose connective tissue is to support other tissues. And since the fibroblasts in the loose connective tissue produce the three different types of fibers, collagen fibers, reticular fibers, and elastic fibers, the loose connective tissue will have strength and elasticity as well. Now, besides supporting other tissues, the loose connective tissue also is involved with nourishment of other tissues because of the presence of blood vessels.